What's up, people? On this video, I want to talk to you about uh, building your portfolio if you want to become a freelancer and how to do it. This is uh, Athens Archaeology Museum. And I'm going with this person. Say hello. I think the, the first and the only advice I have for people that want to work with customers, I think just two advices. First one, you need to have a portfolio. Portfolio is the most important single thing that clients give a fuck about. I haven't worked with Korean clients, but I worked with clients from many continents in the world and they all give a shit about portfolio. Uh, now, less and less people care about your degree and even less and less uh, freelance clients care about your degree. They care about your portfolio. Like imagine a client that just met you in a coffee shop, you met you in a, in a co-working space or something and he needs you to make his application. So what are you going to do? Are you going to show him your John Say uh, fucking degree? Or are you going to say like, yo, check out my GitHub, I made this app, I made this game, I made this chat, I cloned this website, I cloned Instagram, I did this PWA. This is more valuable for a customer that doesn't know you yet and doesn't trust you yet. Uh, in the previous generation, trust was acquired by a degree. So you have a degree, this means, okay, you will work because you know what these degrees say. Now, with the internet and with so many people learning online, the degree is bye-bye. Now what we have is portfolio. So what you need to do is sit on your ass and while you learn, build portfolio. Never learn anything, like never make any tutorial or any course or any book that is not going to have a product at the end that you can show. For example, my courses, they always have a product at the end that you can show. They have Instagram app that you can show. They have um, Uber uh, app that you can show. We have Kakaotalk that you can show. So if your client is looking for somebody to make something like Instagram or something like Uber, you can show him, yo, I did something exactly that what you need. This will give your client more trust to hire you, all right? So that's the first advice. You sit on your ass and build your portfolio, but never, Never build a portfolio uh, that is not compromised of products because your clients want to see products. They're going to hire you to make a product. So basically, build your portfolio of products that you would like to be hired to build. For example, for me, before, I think I would be super happy if somebody hired me to build Instagram. So I created a portfolio that included an Instagram clone. If you want to build applications for Android, then make a portfolio full of applications for Android. If you want to become a web developer, then make application full of React projects. If you want to be a backend developer, make application uh, full of uh, Python frameworks like Django, Flask, and Sinatra, and shit like this, right? So that's it. And the second option is, you know what, maybe not second option. We are inside a museum. And look at this person's face. How do you feel about museum? It's boring as fuck. That's it. Don't make, uh, don't take any course, don't take any book, don't read any tutorial, nothing that doesn't give you a finished product at the end that you can show, all right? The only way to get a client's trust is to show them what you built before. Degrees don't matter anymore, and if you find a client over the internet, it matters even less. So what matters is portfolio. What matters is something to show. So make your GitHub green, make a lot of repositories, a lot of clones for fuck's sake, and good luck, good luck, good luck. See you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you wanna see this beautiful face again, then please subscribe, it's free. And if you disagree, or if you have some advice for me, if you wanna see some other video, please, please uh, comment, let me know what you feel, and that's it. Stay awesome, make beautiful things, and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.